again, titled with Massage AME. And, well, I want to start off by saying that moving is a very traumatic thing. Man, I, I, I'm, I welcome change, you know, in doing different things. Sometimes, you know, you got to make a leap. But, man, moving just puts your whole life in upheaval. It really does. And I can, you can just see it in me. I just know you can. My, my face has grown long and scraggly. You know, I got to get a haircut. I got to trim up everything. You know, try to make myself look like a decent human being again. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, there's just been a whole lot going on these past couple weeks. And so, uh, I've not been meaning to neglect putting up new content at all. But at any rate, I wanted to talk about, um, being a sensitive person. Because this this does relate to being a massage therapist, and uh, maybe some of you also clicked on this video and wa are watching it because you know you're just you are just a sensitive person. You don't you don't have to be a massage therapist, but that is what this channel is about. So I want to talk about um, how being a massage therapist has really honed this skill or this ability. Uh, I suppose some of you out there may refer to yourself as some kind of an empath. And yeah, I know there are legitimate empaths out there. There are people who just like to go around saying they're an empath because it gives them an edge. But, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, people who really do have that, that sense for others. And uh, they, they really do feel that vibe, that, that energy, if you want to call it that, from a person. And so when you come into contact with so many people over the 13 years I've been doing this, almost 13 years, you really do get a stronger sense. Now, mind you, I think everybody has empathy. Like, let, let me be clear about that. I think it's one of the greatest things about being a human being is we, we can empathize and feel each other and understand each other some of us more sensitive than others, right? So anyway, there's just been a few things I think that have triggered this whole thought process and why uh, the idea of being sensitive has been on my mind. I already mentioned the, the moving thing and how that, you know, can really uh, put your life into an upheaval. But just these past few weeks, things have happened. And uh, one thing I want to do mention, and I, I almost feign to do this because I don't, I don't want to make it sound like it's about me. Because it's not. When an incident like this occurs, uh, simply put, I saw the aftermath of somebody who got hit by a moving vehicle on a major road. And unfortunately, it ended up killing them. And that's a really hard thing to process. Um, yeah, I'm just, I was just a bystander. But I mean, think about for a second... The family and friends, you know, who knew this person. I couldn't help but instantly go to that. What are they feeling after they had, you know, gotten the news? And how is it going to affect the rest of their lives? Even more so, I thought about what is worse, the friends and the family who just lost somebody? Or... The person who did hit the pedestrian who came out into the street. Uh, it's my understanding it was an accident. Okay, The reason why I say that is because that person now has to live with, with that for the rest of their lives. And I know there's therapy, there's tools for things like that, but it, it's awful. Just absolutely awful that they have to live with knowing that they were a part of taking somebody's life, albeit an accident. And so that really triggered 
those thoughts in me. And uh, this is going to sound, you know, not nearly as life changing or um, as big of a deal, maybe. But, you know, I was out for a walk the other day, too, and I was just, I passed by, I passed by a dead rat. I just saw one laying on the sidewalk. It looked like some kind of a, oh, maybe a roof rat or something like that. You know, they like citrus trees, so if you got those in your neighborhood, they tend to flock to them. But it kind of brought me down for a second, you know, like it's like that feeling about animals. And everybody's everybody has a will to live. Everything, you know, plant, animal, every person has a will to live. And and I I I started thinking about death and not not like you know I I'm not trying to say like you know I I glorify the idea of death or anything like that. I, I'm not I'm not a a suicidal or a suicidal or or, or a, a, a melancholic person, but you know, I've been in many grave sites. Some have religious connotations, some not. <laughs> Excuse me, and some some have even been like war memorials. And I'm I'm one of those people when I walk through a graveyard, I really like feel every person in the graveyard. These people had a story, okay? They had a life. They they lived and breathed just like you and me, right? I'm alive here in this moment. Who knows how much more time I actually have? And you're watching this video right now. You're living, right? It's just... I almost feel like their voices are actually calling to me. But they want their story to be heard. You ever stop and think about that? I think there's a term out there that people use now when like you have that moment when you realize that people around you are living, breathing, sentient creatures who all have a story, who all have thoughts and feelings and opinions. I think they term that as something like Sonder. Um, I don't know who coined it, but I, I've I've heard about this term. Uh, it, S O N D E R, I think it's yeah, I think it's how you spell it, if I'm not mistaken. So this idea of sonder. So, thirteen years later, as a massage therapist, coming into contact with thousands of human beings. Yeah, I think I I can safely say I've learned to really feel things more in other people and really realizing that they are uh, someone who has a story to tell, someone who has thoughts every day, dreams, aspirations, and, you know? That's not to say, though, that there aren't some that slip through the cracks, though, from time to time. You know, you never know what your neighbor is truly like, do you? I'm not going to get into it too much. I don't want to. I refuse to, but... You know, I I I did know somebody. Uh, they're a rather non-assuming person, and come to find out, sometime later, they were actually a psychopath. Um, they had harmed other people. It, it was on a serial level. I won't get into it though. I don't want to do that. But you know, and the point I'm making there is they they otherwise seem like a very non-assuming person. They they seemed you know, ordinary. It just goes to show you that even if you are a sensitive person, even if you do regard yourself as an empath, it doesn't always mean that every single person you encounter, you're going to absolutely know what kind of person they are. I mean, there's there's just some some crazy people out there. There There is. Just weirdos, man. And sometimes when I am working on somebody or when somebody comes into my studio, my place of work, I already start to get a feeling that they may be an odd one, you know, uh, or that they may be looking for something other than just massage therapy. And by the way, none of this has been rehearsed, okay? I, I'm not, 
this this is just something that has just been on my mind, and I just want to talk about it and get out there, get it out there. You know, and feel free to chime in if you want. Liking and subscribing to this channel, liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff, it does help. It does mean a lot. It's, it, I really do appreciate it. I put work into this stuff. So when people give me some feedback, when they are subscribing, clicking that thumbs up, it really means a lot to me. So thank you to all of you who have done so. And, uh, well, you know, we'll just continue from there. So that's a side note. But yeah, like I was saying, there's just some people, they, they do come in sometimes, and I can kind of already tell what I might be getting myself into. Um, I've had some encounters, and <laughs> it actually puts me in the mind of something else. Like I'm, I'm free associating now, you know, that's what I do. I, I like to talk, I like to, to think, and, uh, you know, free association, that's just how my mind works. And, I start talking about something or thinking about something, and it takes me in completely another direction. But it's all related somehow, one way or another, right? But anyway, it I was thinking about when I was a student all those years ago, you know, becoming a massage therapist. One of the things I was always told was stay away from Craigslist. Because uh, apparently that's where that's where the real weirdos appear, the creeps. I don't know if that's true. Excuse me, I didn't really bother to look. But uh, I I was just always told, stay away from it. Stay away from Craigslist. And uh, not that I haven't used Craigslist before for other reasons, but, you know, I wonder. Hang on a second. Give me a moment. I, I, let's, let's do this. I'm going to get on Craigslist and see what's out there. I'm curious now. Let's see. Now, mind you, again, not rehearsed. And who knows, maybe th this could be the first time in YouTube history that somebody has done this, you know, where they looked up uh, some funky massage ads on <laughs> and read them out loud on you on YouTube. Let's see what we got here. I got to be careful though. I don't. I don't want to. And I, I, there may be some things on here I, I can't. I can't read out loud. We'll see. Um, let's just type in, in the in the uh, what is this? They call it the queue, the query. What do they call it? Where you type in your search. You know what I'm talking about? The search bar. Anyway, let's let's see. Uh, I put in massage. There's a few things that came up here. Let's just look at body massage. Let's see what comes up. Uh, some of this looks like it could actually be legitimate. Hmm. Well, maybe, who knows, maybe Craigslist has actually cleaned up its act a little bit. Hang on, let's see, what, what do we got? Full body massage? Massage therapist? Let's try that. Let's see what comes up under massage therapist. Some ads for things. Hmm. Like, you know, massage items, things like that. I don't know. I'm not really, uh. Not seeing anything too crazy out there. How about massage services? Let's see what we got. I don't know what vehicles have to do with massage. Why don't. I don't understand that. Why do I keep getting car ads? <laughs> okay. Um. But, wow, I'm kind of impressed. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um. Maybe Craigslist is is filtering that stuff out more. You know, maybe. Sorry if I moved around the computer a little bit there. Let's see, what else could we look at here? Massage therapy, maybe. Okay. There's a horse. A horse ad. <laughs> oh, okay. We got some like pedicure stuff too. You know, stuff for like feet. Well maybe maybe um 
maybe it's like, you know, be more particular about what area. Hmm. Do we have to narrow down our search? Because I, I want to know, like, what, what was what was the big deal? What was, uh, what, what were they talking about all those years ago? Like, what really is the, the fuss, you know? Let's see here. Well, there's something that comes up here automatically. It's at the top of the list here. Why, why does it say Asian massage? Like, what's that supposed to mean? No. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Gigs. It says well, this says for sale. Maybe that's the problem. Hang on. I I don't really use Craigslist. So I got to figure out how this works. Let's see. Community. Uh, gigs. Jobs. All right. Let's try that. Let's try typing in massage under jobs or massage therapist, maybe. Okay, okay. Mm. I don't know. I know there's places out there, though, that are questionable. I've seen them. I know they're out there. But I, I've always wanted to know, though, what what is it about? Um, about um, Craigslist that people have always said odd things about it. What's this? This is interesting. Something about a male massage therapist for men. I don't know, it looks like it might be all right. Hmm. Let's see. I know there's people who, who like, you know, make it known that they're male or female. Um, I don't know if that's really the way you should be looking at massage therapy. You know, it probably should be more along the lines of, you know, just the quality of the therapist in general, right? Um, let's see, what do we got here? Looks, looks legit. So far, not bad. Not bad. Um, not see. okay, again, not seeing anything all that bad. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Why they always told me to stay away from Craigslist. Maybe it's more like the, the, the people who get on Craigslist looking for a massage. Maybe that's what they meant. I'm not sure. Uh, like you have to watch out for that sort of thing. It's the kind of clientele that you could possibly attract that maybe is the problem. Um, hmm. I've seen some other things, though, like on the back of magazines. Those were some bizarre ads. Uh... There's some local magazines that put out some ads sometimes that, you know, when they use words like sensual or tantric, yeah, you know what you might be getting yourself into. Just just watch out for that kind of thing. Well, there's something here that says it wanted female massage therapist. They claim they have their own table linens and lotions. Yeah, that might that might be a sketchy one. I'd stay away from that. I wouldn't trust that. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a nice guy. And people put up pictures of themselves, too. I suppose it's supposed to make it more personable. Oh, boy. What a world. Outcall. You know, people who come to your house. I never know how to feel about that. I mean, I've done it before, but usually for, like, acquaintances. People I know. It's... You know, doing that for strangers, though, being an out-call therapist, like, even if it's legit, you never really know what you're getting yourself into. Like, just just how creepy is it, really? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Well, okay, when, when they're posting a bunch of, like, cutesy pictures of themselves, yeah, I don't know. 
Like they're kind of flirty looking. You know what I'm saying? That might be something to look out for. Wait a minute. Here we go. This one says pretty girl right on the ad. Oh boy. What does that mean? Oh, here we go. It says, you know, an outstanding real, real massage with some excitement. Yeah, well, hmm. I think you know what you're getting yourself into there. You know, I, I almost get the feeling like this is sort of like a. You know, like personal ads? Where people were, you know, looking for love. You know, <laughs> that would be an interesting read. To, I, I don't. Does Craigslist? I've heard about those too. Does Craig's, Craigslist have personal ads? I wonder. That might be interesting. This one says a mature therapist. They do manscaping. Hmm. Okay. Bitcoin? Oh boy, who? Interesting. I'm not I'm not seeing it. And and unless they just don't directly advertise it, you know? You know, if, if they're one of those colloquially known as a rub joint, you know? Let's see. Well, this, oh, 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 God, oh, no. This one has to, like, specifically mention race. I don't know about that. <clears throat> Why would anybody care? Y yeah, well, and it's it's using terminology that could be regarded in a certain direction. You know, I, I, I'll just leave it at that. Let's see. There's a bunch of hearts on this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> a beautiful professional massage therapist. Yeah. Um. Well, it says they're spicy, and they mention their age, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Pictures, if you want. Mm-hmm. A discreet location. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. you know what that's about. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one's surrounded by by uh by flames. Oh, 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 oh. No, there's some sick puppies out there. Oh my word. They're, no, they're out there. Okay, now I'm starting to understand why they said stay away from Craigslist. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh. Why do they have to mention that they're young? Young, like young Asian girls. Like, what? oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I think I think you can figure out what they're getting at here. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh, uh, more flirty photos. Like I said, it's kind of like want ads, you know? Uh, or or uh, personal ads, excuse me, like, like a dating site. Like, it's kind of what it's starting to feel like. Sensual. Yeah, there, there's one. There's your sensual massage. <laughs> Good heavens. Oh. Well, th there you have it. You know they're out there. Actually, now I'm starting to wonder. What, where are the person? Are there personal ads on here? And just how crazy do they get? Hold on a second. P personal ads. There it is. How about that? Oh, but it's like, you know, con contracting jobs and things like that. What about, I need to change the category. Hmm. Yeah, then gigs and stuff like that. Or maybe they mean, oh, dating, here we go. Dating. Community. Jobs? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Something else. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I don't really see anything about dating. I, I'm pretty sure by now everybody's moved on to all those, you know, websites. 
that are out there. So you probably don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, there's matchmakers. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, okay. A little, little bit of that on here. Oh, boy. How about that? Yeah, so, okay. I don't know if I'm the first one to do it, but hey, uh, there you go. It may, it may have been the first in YouTube history. I didn't want to get too um, explicit, but there was some stuff on there. I found some stuff. Yeah. There, there is a dark side to the massage world. I'm pretty sure most of you know about that. I don't think that's a secret, but I wondered, though, because all these years, I never bothered to check out Craigslist. Uh, never, never really put out, excuse me, an ad either. You know, the I am massage therapist on Craigslist. Um, so, I don't know. Where, where was I when I got distracted? Talking about being a sensitive person, right? Yeah. Life throws some weird things at you sometimes, so you take the punches, right? Take it, take it as it comes. There's going to be more content coming out um, as life settles down again. So you know, like I said, hit hit that subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. Um, so thanks, guys. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.